VCI presents some of the most popular children's characters available to buy on video. Introducing, without further ado, that little locomotive with his colour so blue. All aboard, if you please, for Britt Allcroft's Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Hold tight, everyone, and take a ride on your favourite railway line. Here he comes. With Thomas the Tank Engine and all his wonderful friends. My branch line is the pride of the line. No engines ever felt prouder than those on the Fat Controller's Railway. And now you can sing along with Thomas, too. Your favourite story collection, story and song collection, and the biggest ever Christmas collection. You never know what the animals will get up to on Four Ways Farm. And the rascally rats are always there to get up to some sort of mischief or another. So it's bound to be loads of fun. Sooty and the gang are up to their usual tricks. Not always on the right side of the law. Elastic tricks and speedy sweep. Meanwhile, Rosie and Jim are having adventures of their own. So we're going to see lots of animals. When they pack their bags and set off on safari. Look at those. On safari and acrobats. Tilly shows us that French can be lots of fun. Bonjour. And easy to learn in one of four programmes exclusively made for video. Uh -huh. One, two, two, four, three. Fun with French, ABC and Animal Adventures. And now, two new characters, both from the best-selling toys. In a magical world above the clouds, the Sky Queen has chosen five young students from Earth to become the Sky Dancers. Sky Dancers, based on the best-selling toy, now available to buy on video. Sometime in the future, the planet has been devastated by a great disaster. Now the dragonflies are the only hope of the human race. A terrifying fight against evil. Dragonflies! Dragonflies, based on the best-selling toy, now available to buy on video. Masses of titles, hours of fun, available now. close because I'm expecting quite a crowd today. Oh, hi, I'll be with you in a second. Um, <clears throat> forget your 20, don't talk to me about 19, hit hand, ear, never mind your 18 pounds. Oh, oh hi, Sooty, what? What am I doing? Well, whilst you lot have been lazing around all morning, I've been reading this book. It's absolutely brilliant. It's called How to Sell by Jerry Kreisel, and this guy is a genius. He could sell anything to anybody. And I think that I've got the hang of this. As a matter of fact, I could almost guarantee that if somebody walked through that door right now, with the help of this, I'd be able to sell to them. Promise you. 
A customer! What? Go for it. You're right. Don't let me down, Mr. Kreisel. Please don't let me down. Right, where are we? Uh, uh, good morning, madam. Now, don't stand at the back there. Come nice and close, because I'm expecting quite a crowd today. You'll be glad you came today, darling. <laughs> darling, because today I'm going to give you the chance to buy this. To buy... Oh, produce item. Sorry, to buy this... To buy this uh, remarkable little sewing machine. Now, this is the bit that will really get us sort of... Watch this, watch this. <clears throat> right, it says here, madam, £20, but forget your £20. Don't talk to me about 19 Forget your 18 Here, I like the look of you. You remind me of my mother. Forget 17 Don't talk to me about 16 I don't want to hear 15 Bang hand. Forget 14, this is the last of the line, madam, so it will be a bargain at £10. Don't talk to me about 10, bang hand. Don't talk to me about 9, forget 8, I don't want to hear 7, because you're my first customer of the day. Here, £5, what do you say? Do you sell lollipops? Oh, no, we don't sell lollipops. The sweet shop's round the corner. Oh, and have this book with my compliments. Bye. What? Wasn't very successful. No, it wasn't very successful at all, was it? Still after a hard morning of uh, not selling anything at all. I think it's lunchtime, don't you? Off you go. Actually, I've prepared something very special for lunch. Something very special indeed. I'm going to go and get, get changed. Matthew, what's happening? We yeah. never have lunches like this. What are you up to? Well, it's a bit of a surprise, actually, Sue. Um, Sooty, what is your favourite lunch? Hmm? Never mind thinking about it. What is it? Chicken. Yes, I could have told you that, actually. <laughs> you like chicken too? Yes, I know that, sweep. And little cousin Scampy, do you like chicken as well? Yes, I know you do. And, and Sue, Sue, <laughs> what is your most favouritest lunch of all? Well, I think you know the answer already, Matthew. It's chicken. Yes, I did know that, actually. So you won't be surprised to learn that underneath this cover here, I have got a, all together now, a chicken. chicken! Correct! So let's have a look at the chicken. <laughs> what, what, Sweep? What? <laughs> have we got any stuffing? <laughs> but of course we got stuffing, Sweep. There's plenty of it just here. I mean, you can't have chicken without stuffing, can you? <laughs> so, do you think we should have a look at the chicken now? <laughs> yes. I can't hear you. Shall we have a look at the chicken? <laughs> yes! Let's see it. Voila! <laughs> 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 what, Sweep? <laughs> We can't eat that. It's a cute little baby chicken. Yes, but more to the point, Sue, we can't eat it because it's a toy chicken. It's not a real one. We can't afford a real one because the business is doing so badly. Don't worry. It's Cornish pastas for lunch. No, I promise you, don't panic. We're not going to eat you. It's Cornish pastas, all right? Well, they did all enjoy their lunch, despite the fact that it wasn't chicken. <laughs> and we had four nice, clean plates. And because you've all been so good, I've got a genuine surprise for you now. Oh, goody, goody, I love surprises. <laughs> what is it, Matthew? Well, you know that nice Mr Sanford that lives down in the precinct? He mm -hmm. runs, the, uh, runs the pet shop. Yes. You know the one? Well, he's asked me if I will look after one or two of his baby animals for the day Ooh. whilst he goes away. And I've got a couple of the baby animals in this box here. <laughs> what sort of animals do you think they are? Hmm? What? Are they chickens? <laughs> no, they're not chickens. No, no, no. Oh, I can hear some funny little snuffling noises yes. coming from the so box. So can I, Sue. Yes. <laughs> what, what, sweet? What? <laughs> Are they puppies? <laughs> no, they're not puppy dogs. No, it's too small. What, Scampy? Oh, he's guessed it. Scampy's got it. They are... Kittens! Oh, oh, look! Sweet look at them! Look oh, yeah. them. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? Let's get one out. Let's get one out. These are only six weeks old, you know. Six weeks old. Six weeks old? They're babies. They are, but they're wandering about a bit, aren't they? Aww. Look at him, isn't he absolutely gorgeous? Oh, I love babies. They're beautiful, aren't they? <coughs> what, what, sweet, what? <coughs> Will they grow up to be cats? <coughs> well, yes, of course they'll grow up to be cats, sweet. <coughs> you don't like cats? <coughs> well, you're a dog, and dogs tend not to like cats. <coughs> Let's put him back in here. As a matter of fact, if you come up to the bedroom with me, I've got some more baby creatures to look at, and, uh, I can guarantee that Sweep is going to love these ones. Oh. Now, Sweep, I know that you weren't very keen on those baby animals that we saw downstairs, were you? No, I know you weren't, but I've got a couple more very lively little baby animals underneath this quilt cover, and you're going to love these. Can you guess what they are? Can you guess what they are? Are there more kittens? 
No, they're not more kittens. They are baby animals, though. Have another guess. Uh, baby guinea pigs? No, they're not baby guinea pigs. Hmm? Baby elephants? Well, they might just as well be baby elephants, but no, they're not. Anybody else? What's the thing? Are, are, are they? Oh, well, I, I think he's guessed. He has guessed. He's got it right because they are baby dogs. They're puppies. No. Look at those. What's sweet? They're puppy dogs. Yes, you're right. They are puppy dogs. Say hello to one. Well, whilst we're upstairs making a fuss of the puppies, Scampi has stayed downstairs making a fuss of the kittens. Scampi thinks he knows what the kittens would like to eat. But oh dear, you know Scampi. He's got it wrong again. And again. And again. And again. And again. You like them? Yes, I know you love baby puppy dogs, don't you? They're lovely. These are only six weeks old, these oh, little chaps. Oh, Matthew, you know? they're babies. Oh, I love babies. Shh. That's the shop door. Uh, Sooty, Sweep, you make sure that the puppies are safe and warm, OK? And Sue, come and help me in the shop and please stop going on about babies. All make right. Make sure all right. Come on, Sue. Come on, come on, come on. Who's a clever little boy, son? Who's a little belter? I'm here. Oh, hello, Mo. Oh, hello, love. I've just brought someone to see you. Mo, you haven't... Uh... Made up. It's a soft. Oh. This is our Sharon Louise's latest little oh. brain. Brain? Don't you mean Brian? Ah, uh, well, it should have been Brian, but they spelt it wrong. Any road is a lovely little... Chappy yes, yes, Hello, yes, Mo. Hello, oh, hello <laughs> Pet. Hey, Sue, you, you know we're looking at baby creatures upstairs. Well, there's another baby down here, and I think you're going to like this one even more than you like the other ones. Uh, Mo, would you mind if I... No, pick no, pick him up, love, but be careful, because you get our Sharon Louise after you. Of course. You Come on. There's you a got good him? little chap. Oh, there's a there, good... There. Oh, look at this, Sue. This is Mo's new grandchild. This is Brian. Brain. Sorry, this is Brain. Right. He's lovely, isn't he? Look oh, at him. Oh, Matthew, he's <laughs> gorgeous. Oh, he's beautiful. He's the prettiest baby I've seen all day. Oh, look at his little hands. Oh, I think babies are wonderful. Yeah. They are. I'm going to have one of my own one day, Mo. I can <laughs> hardly wait. Yeah, I think your soul's getting a bit broader. What? Still, I know what you mean. I mean, look at him. He's so cuddly and helpless. Yes. Oh, do you know, just looking at a baby does something for a woman. Do you know what I mean, love? Something that men can't understand. <laughs> yes, I feel like a mother hen looking after a little chick. Do you understand, Matthew? No, not really. Oh, I understand, Mo. I understand that feeling very well now. Well, I mustn't keep you because you've got a business to run. Oh, yes, I'm talking about business. Aye. What about uh, what about a nice rattle for Brian? Oh, <laughs> brain. Sorry, brain. That's a, sorry, I've got Brian on the brain. Or is it brain on the Brian? I'm not sure. Sorry, Bobby Dazzler, is that? Yes. How much is it? Two pounds. It's free, Mo. What? Have it as a little present from all of us at Sooty & Co. Oh, how sweet of <laughs> your soul. That's <laughs> very kind of you. So I'll do you the can't... same for you one day. But when you've got a baby of your own, of I... course. But till then, I'm moustache. Because um, I've got a load more shops to visit to see if I can get some more freebies. Ta-ra! Say ta-ra, brain. Freebies? One of these days I shall sell something to that woman. <laughs> What's sweet? What is it? <laughs> you got a baby baby chicken? <laughs> no, I, that's not possible, sweet. You see, a chicken is a baby and you can't have a baby baby. Do you understand? <laughs> you can. No, you can't. You can't. Look, sweet, it is not possible to have a... <laughs> Look, an egg, a baby, baby, chicken. It's a little joke. Do you get it? Little joke. Somebody at the back door. I wonder who that could be. Hang on, it's a social call. Just a minute. Uh, I'm coming. Oh, hello, everyone. Hiya. Come in. I just popped round to give you back that fibre I borrowed last Friday. Oh, well, that's very kind of you. Listen, if ever there's anything that you want, all you've got to do is ask. Oh, thanks a lot, Matthew. <laughs> Actually, there is something you could do for me. Well, shoot. Couldn't lend us a fiver till next Friday, could you? Well, Thanks. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, of course I could. Oh, hello, Sue. It's only Yvonne from next door. Hello, Sue. Hello, Yvonne. How's it going? Yeah, all right, you know. <laughs> Actually, my back's killing me. I'm hardly surprised. Look, come and sit down. Come and oh, sit down. Thank you. 
Yes. Um, how long is it till, you, well, you know, till, till the baby's due? Only another three weeks to go. Three weeks? <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, ouch, actually, I think he's going to play for Manchester United. Really? Certainly is a strong enough kicker. What do you mean he can't kick before he's born, can he? <laughs> You've got to be joking. <laughs> yeah, actually, Sue, babies can kick, even though they're still inside the mummy's tummies. Oh, and how? Hey, you should feel him right now. Go on, feel it. <gasps> Just there. Oh! Hey, that's oh, it. Do you yes. feel that? C can I? Can yeah, I feel go on, then. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, there yeah, it is again. Feel, feel it. It's gone. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. <gasps> it must be wonderful to be a mother. Yeah, well, I'll let you know in a month or so. <laughs> anyway, I must get home. Uh, don't you want to say? No, no, no. Jeff will be home soon. Thanks for the money. Oh, bye uh, now. You're welcome. Bye. Uh, bye, bye, Yvonne. Yvonne. Bye. <laughs> what, sweet what? <laughs> what, she got stuck up a jumper? <laughs> oh, sweet, you silly Billy. That's a baby. <laughs> Up a jumper? No, 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 Sweep. Uh, Yvonne's got a baby inside her tummy. Yes, in her tummy, Yvonne has got a baby growing inside her tummy. Has she eaten it? No, of course she hasn't eaten it. Oh. Uh, Matthew, what? I think you've got a bit of explaining to do. What? Mm. What you mean about uh, yes. babies and mm. the birds and the bees? Mm. Right, OK, good idea. Um, sweep, uh, come upstairs with me. We'll find a nice, quiet place because I want to have a, a little chat to you, OK? Mm -hmm. Hi, Scampy. Hi, Scampy. Oh, I don't know. It's babies, 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 wherever you turn today. Mind you, they are lovely. Oh, oh. What's that? Am I going to have a baby? Certainly not, Scampy. I'd like to when I'm grown up, but I'm much too young right now. Hey, you've given me an idea, though. I could pretend to be having a baby. <laughs> yes, yes, you could help me. Tell you what, we'll play a joke on the others, shall we? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sweep. 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 Are you all right? <coughs> Do you understand what I've been saying? <laughs> you think so? Good. So, you understand that you were inside your mummy's tummy, Sochi was inside his mummy's tummy, Sue was inside her mummy's tummy, and I was inside my mummy's tummy. Do you understand that? <laughs> no, it's nothing to do with jumpers. <laughs> Babies are inside their mummy's tummies. <laughs> my mummy must have had a very big tummy. Why do you say that? Because I'm so big. Well, it wasn't always this size. I mean, when I was a baby, I was absolutely tiny. Just like the baby inside Yvonne's tummy. And in three weeks' time, that baby will come out of Yvonne's tummy, and that is called being born. You think you understand? Well, I am pleased, sweet. That's very good, very good. What? How many puppies will Yvonne have? Puppies? <clears throat> Sweep, mm? you see this bird mm? and this bee? Mm -hmm. Well... Shh, yeah, yeah, that's it, Scampy. Shh. Oh, here comes Matthew. Pop down there out of oh, sight. Yeah. Right, go on. Never again. <coughs> never, ever again. I never, ever want to go through that ever again. Hi, Sue. Hello. We've just been having a chat with Sweep about the birds and the bees and the net. Really? Sue, so, so are, mm -hmm. are you all right? Yes, yes. Oh, I'll be fine, Matthew. I, I keep feeling a little sick in the mornings. It's probably something that I ate. Yeah, well, to be honest with you, I think it's probably more to do with the amount that you ate. You know, I hadn't noticed this before, Sue, but you were... You're putting a bit of weight on, aren't you? Oh, uh, hello, Sooty. Uh, listen, I was just saying to Sue that she's, she's looking a bit, um... A bit, um... What? Fat. Well, I suppose that's one way of putting it. I definitely hadn't noticed it before, so it must have come on very suddenly, has it? Uh, well, I may be putting on a little bit of weight, Matthew, but it hasn't stopped me from feeling hungry. Oh. I've got a real craving. Have we got any kippers in the house? Kippers? Mm. We, we, you don't like kippers. You hate kippers. Well, I used to, Matthew, but right at this moment, I could murder a kipper sandwich with toothpaste and brown sauce on it. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I can't manage that, Sue. Hang on a minute. I've got some, I've got some mints here. You love mints, don't you? Do you uh, want a mint? A mint? No, thank you. Take it away. Oh. I feel sick just looking at it. 
Well, I'll tell you something, it won't do you any harm to have neither the kippers nor the mints because you are looking decidedly podgy, Sue. I should stay away from the old chips for a while if I were you. Oh, I don't think that would make any difference, Matthew. It's not the chips that are making me bigger, it's a... Excuse me! What? What? What's that stuff over there? What? What's it? What, what, this stuff here? Mm. Um, this is packing straw. So she was just going to use straw. it... Did you say straw? Y yes, it's straw. Can you straw. pass it over here, please? Yeah, I'll pass the straw. What? Why does she want the straw? I have no idea why she wants the straw. She's acting very strangely recently. Uh, Sue, mm -hmm. Sue, what are you doing with the straw? Oh, nothing really, Matthew. Just making a little nest. Oh, just making it. Mm -hmm. What are you making a nest for, Sue? Well, I'm not really sure. I just have this strange feeling that I ought to. Perhaps there's something happening in my genes. Yeah, to the size you are, you won't get into your genes. Just, 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 just a minute. Hang on a minute. Large tummy. Feel sickly on a morning, like strange food, making a nest. I think. <coughs> oh, oh, hello, sweet. What, what's wrong? Uh, no, no, nothing at all. No, I just had a silly idea. A, a really silly idea. So silly, it's not worth mentioning, guys. Anyway, I think that you've got all the silly ideas out of your head now, haven't you, Sweep? I think you've got all that sorted out, haven't you? As a matter of fact, Sweetie, I've been having a word with Sweep about babies upstairs. I've explained that babies grow inside their mummy's tummy, which is why their tummies get so large. What? Like Yvonne's? Now, that is exactly right. I'm glad you got it sorted out. Sweep, Yvonne's tummy is that size because she's having a baby. Like Sue. No, 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 not like Sue. I thought you got this sorted out. <coughs> Sue is not having a baby. If she were, her tummy would be enormous. <coughs> but it is. <coughs> no, uh, listen, by her own admission, she's actually put a little bit of weight on recently, but if you look at her, you've heard... Sue! <coughs> What's going on? Well, there were so many babies around here today, Matthew, that I thought that I would like to have one too. What? Didn't think you'd mind the tiny patter of a few more claws around here. <coughs> A baby, you? Two babies, Matthew. It's twins, actually. Twins? Mm. Oh, oh, what? Who's the daddy? I don't know who the daddy is. I don't think I know anything anymore. Oh, 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 oh. Ouch, ouch. I think I've got the entire Manchester football team in here. Feel the kicking, Sooty. It's moving. It's mo what are you doing? What are you doing? You think Ryan Giggs is inside there? Never mind Ryan Giggs. What are the newspapers going to say? Oh, well, they'll probably <laughs> say something like small teddy bear and panda full grown up with a couple of soft toys stuffed up a dress. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Let me have a look under. Oh, look at look at this. <laughs> toys. You fooled me. That's right, Matthew. <laughs> it was all a load of hot air. You <laughs> little minx, Sue. Look at these toys. What, what sweet, what? <laughs> When will she be having a baby? Oh. She's not having a baby, Sweep. She was joking with us, playing a trick on us. <laughs> you don't understand. <laughs> I think we'd better say goodbye and then I'll have another little talk to you. <laughs> bye, 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 everybody. Bye, bye. 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 Sweep, <laughs> you see these beans? <laughs> Could yes, I know, Sweep, I know I did, but that was before I realised that Sue wanted to sit at the back on her own. <sighs> what? What? You don't want to sit at the back? Well, thank goodness I've got one sensible one. Where do you want to sit? 
Right at the very front. Oh, Matthew, if Sooty wants to sit at the front, then I change my mind about the back. What? I want to sit at the front too. <laughs> So do you. Look, stop, 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 stop. Let's just stop arguing about where people are going to sit on the coach. It hasn't even arrived yet. Oh, hello there. And welcome to uh, Sooty & Co, the friendly shop where you can get anything at all, including a very silly argument about where people are going to sit on the coach. Oh, Matthew, we're sorry. It's just that we're so excited, isn't it, boys? <coughs> yeah, all right. Actually, I do understand. As a matter of fact, something very exciting is going to happen today. What? Tell them where we're going. Yes. To a theme park. <laughs> as soon as the coach arrives. Well, yes, of course, as soon as the coach arrives. So, uh, have you all got everything that you need? Well, we have, Matthew, but have you? It's always you who manages to forget something important. Yeah, all right, Sue. I've got everything I need here in the rucksack. Portable phone, keys, wallet. Well, I hope you've remembered your umbrella, Matthew. What? Because I think it's beginning to rain. Get our brolly sweep. <laughs> You're right, Sue. It is raining a little. But then never mind, because I was a Boy Scout and uh, be prepared is my motto. Do you know something? There are actually people around who don't like little outings like this. I can't understand it myself. I cannot understand people who don't like day trips. Oh, very funny. This is highly amusing. What a great way to start the day. I am soaking wet. Well, we're all dry and as warm as toast, aren't we, boys? Oh, well, that's great news. Actually, it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all because it's like uh, water off a duck's back. Actually, it's more like water down a duck's neck. Still, if everybody's ready, shall we set off? Yep. OK, then, driver, take it away. <laughs> Stop! Stop! Halt! Oh, for goodness sake, how could I have been so stupid? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait a minute. I've forgotten something important. Could you open the door, please? Something very, very important. I'll be back in a minute. What's he forgotten? I don't know, Sweet, but it's obviously something very important. He's not there. There's no sign of him. Who's not there, Matthew? We're all here. Who are you looking for? But little cousin Scampy. We can't go without him. I blame myself, you know. I mean, I haven't seen the poor little chap all morning. He probably thinks that he's not welcome to come. Even at this moment, he's pro... It's all right. We've found him. Oh, do come along, Matthew, you old grumpy trousers. Scampy thought he was doing the right thing climbing inside your rucksack. At least he didn't get wet. Oh, well, isn't he the lucky one, then? Come along, step out of it. We're on our way. Yes. Yes. You're right, Sue, we are. Yes. We're on our way. Look, look, we're all here and, and I've nearly dried off, so let's just sit back and enjoy the journey. Yes. 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 What, sweet? Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> No, speak. we're not nearly there yet. It's, it's quite a long way. <laughs> yes, sweet. <laughs> so she wants to know what? Are we nearly there yet? Would you tell Sooty that we are not nearly there yet? Okay. Matthew, Matthew? Yes, You Sue? see that great big tree straight up ahead of us? Oh, oh yes. W what about it? Um, well, when we reach that tree, yes. will we be nearly there then? Sue, for the last time, we are not nearly there! Look at this. Nice, healthy salad. Nice, fresh bowl of soup. Little roll. Cheese and biscuits. All washed down with a bottle of mineral water. You know, it used to be that motorway services, the food was the pits, but all that's changed. Now, it's really easy to get a very healthy meal. Hello, Matthew. Are you going to join us? 
You, you, you can't eat that lot. Of course we can. And whilst you're up, would you get an ice cream for little cousin Stampy? I forgot. An ice cream? As well as all this, you must be joking. Oh, Matthew, he wants one. Well, he'll just have to wait until we get there, won't he? Oh. And no O's. I'm going to go and sit over here, since there's no room for me there. <sighs> chips, chips, and more chips. Salad. <laughs> Matthew? Yes, Sue? Can you come here, please? Yes, of course, of course. Yes, Sue? Are we nearly there yet? Are we nearly there yet? <laughs> so, uh, Sweet, how many cola drinks did you have exactly in there? You had three and so she had four. You're joking, I don't know where you put it all. Really, I don't... what? You're kidding. Well, now? But we've only been back on the coach for ten minutes. And can't it wait? What, what's the matter, Matthew? Uh, uh, nothing. Nothing at all, Sue. It was engaged. It really can't wait. Driver, can you stop the coach, please? Oh, Matthew, is Sue going to be sick? No, he's not going to be sick, Sue. He just wants to... But he just wants... He just wants some fresh air, that's all. Just go, go, go on on the coach. Go on, along with... Come on. Come on. Just here. Come on. We stopped the coach special for you. What's the problem? What's wrong? What's wrong? Wait, you can't do it without that watching. <sighs> Sorry, but can you just not watch for a moment, please? <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, driver! Driver, can you stop the coach? Hold it, Sweep. Hold it. Just stop it. <laughs> you, sweep, I've got very little sympathy for you, you know. I mean, after all the food you put away at lunchtime, I'm hardly surprised you don't feel well. Anyway, get some fresh air. Perhaps you might feel better, all right? Ugh. Mm. So, after a very eventful journey, we are finally there, at our destination, Camelot. Oh, and uh, don't worry about Sweep. He's absolutely fine. Right, come on, chaps and chapesses, are you all ready for a great day out? Matthew? Yeah. <laughs> yes, Sue? Does anything about this car park strike you as being odd? No, Sue, it's, it's a very nice car park, as it happens. Yes, <laughs> but it's also a very empty car park. Look, there are no cars here. Oh, well, yes, you see, that's probably because this place is... <laughs> it's closed! <laughs> You. Oh, Sue! Oh, oh, everybody! It's shut! I can't believe it! Matthew! Matthew! Ah! Oh. Connie! Look who it is! Everybody's Connie Crichton! What on earth are you lot doing here? Well, we've been silly billies, Connie. We, we've got all the way here and, and the place is closed. Yes. <laughs> I expect you've done the same, have you, Connie? We're all locked out together. I'm not locked out, Matthew. Look! What are those? Those are the keys to Camelot Suite. But hang on, the keys? How, Matthew, how, how, what? I've got a part-time job here. I'm the caretaker. And although the place is closed to the general public today, no one is going to object if my special friends have it to themselves for a couple of hours. Are you coming? <gasps> 
Come on, everybody! We're in! We're in! <laughs> so good old Auntie Connie the caretaker has saved the day. Here she is, showing us around some of the attractions in Camelot. What do you think of Camelot then? Connie, this is brilliant! <laughs> can you have a ride? Mm. Of course you can, sleep. All you've got to do is say which one. <laughs> Hang on, what is it, Scampy? Oh, Scampy says, can he have an ice cream instead of a ride? Oh, well, that's all right. Tell you what, Scampy, you get yourself an ice cream. I'm sure you can work that machine. And I'll take this lot on the Tower of Terror. Come on, Whoa, come on. Come on, come, come on, on, the Tower of Terror. <laughs> come on. So, whilst we all go off to frighten ourselves to death, Little Cousin Scampy is left in charge of the ice cream machine. I wonder if this is wise. Hmm, apparently not. So, while Scampy is having a difficult time with the ice cream machine, the rest of us are taking our lives in our hands on the Tower of Terror. Well, when I say the rest of us, I actually mean Sooty, Sue and me. In view of his earlier experience, Sweep stayed on the ground with Connie. I leave it to you to decide who were the lucky ones! <laughs> Oh dear, we're not the only ones with problems, it seems. Scampy still can't seem to turn the ice cream machine off, which is fine if you like ice cream. Um, a lot of ice cream. You know, I think you three have been ever so brave. So do I. Today is your lucky day, because the boys have got a training session for the jousting. It's one of the highlights here. Really? So training commence! Whee! Wow! Look at him there! Look, yeah. Here oh. he comes again! Here he comes again! Oh. Hey. Hold <laughs> Isn't it exciting? Yeah, sure. Oh. Wow, what about that, sweet? Mm. <laughs> You'd like to do that? <laughs> <laughs> Little Cousin Scampy still hasn't worked out how to turn the machine off. But if you think that he's in trouble, just watch what happens to me next. <gasps> you, sir! Yes, you, you violet. Come with me and prepare to joust with me to defend the honour of the Lady Sue. What? Me? Joust? Oh, yes, Matthew. Please, my honour is at stake. <laughs> you must be joking. No way am I going on a horse and going to joust with the Black Knight. No way. No way am I going to gallop down there with this thing and fight with that... with that... that brute. The time has come, sir. My Lady Sue, give us the signal. No, 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 Sue, 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 Sue. please, Sue, do not, do not drop the handkerchief. Don't drop it. No, 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 please, no, no! Please don't hit me, don't, no. Oh. 
You missed. Nah, 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 nah. You missed it that time. Oh. No, 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 no. How do I stop this thing? How? Where's the off button? No, don't do it again. Don't do it again. He's bigger than I am. Oh no, it's too. Tell, tell him to stop. Please. All right. You've asked for it now. You've asked for it. I'm going to get you this time. This is it. This is the one. I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. I go. Oh! <laughs> oh, 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 He's unseated. Oh. Matthew's on the ground. He's all right. Sue, so you can look. You can look. Oh, this is awful. Matthew needs help. Who is going to rescue him? So, my friends, prepare to become another notch on the Black Knight's sword. <laughs> Sir, cries Sooty, I have come to the rescue of my friend. You must now fight me. You don't let me laugh. Besides, you have no weapon. Where's thy lance? I have my wand, sir. Tis all I need. Wrong, sir. Thou will need a horse. Sooty waves his magic wand to try and magic a horse. But instead, he magics Merlin the wizard. My name is Merlin the wizard. And you summoned me not a second too soon, Sooty. If you want to fight the Black Knight, you'll need some horsepower. Let me help you. Shazam! So much for the horsepower. Now for the rider. <laughs> Splendid. Let the battle commence. <laughs> so you be, ca be careful. It's all right. It's okay. You can look, Sue. He's okay. No, no, no. All right, all right. I get in. I surrender. I surrender. I want my mummy. I want my mummy. I want my mummy. Mm, yeah, go on. Go on, you coward. Surrender. Go on. See how you like it. Na, 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 na. Matthew! Matthew! What? Wake up! What? Wake up! Oh, Connie! I think I've been dreaming. Yes. Well, we uh, all think it's time for an ice cream. Uh, a good idea. Come on, everyone. Yeah, all right, come, come on. on. This way. Right. What will everyone have? Uh, hang on a minute. What's this? Empty? Empty? It can't be empty. There was a ton of ice cream in this machine. It was full. There was enough... Enough... Uh, uh, well, enough to make a snowman? Well, or should I say, an ice cream man? What? Look! He's built a snowman using the ice cream. Look! Wow! Scampy, you are a little rascal. Give that to me. Never mind telling him off. What? Start scooping before it all melts. Mm. Mm. Uh, Lovely. Oh, just before uh -huh. we do, Connie, uh -huh. we've got to say something, haven't we? Of course. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> all right, who's going to be first? Who's going to be first? Oh, you've got to come with you. It's just so you happy. Just Someone else has arrived. Who? 
Oh, hello there. Oh, and welcome to a very important day in the history of Sooty & Co. Mm. We're going to have a big drive to improve the business. We've got a whole load of new stock in and we're going to rearrange all the displays. In fact, we're going to give this business the boost that it needs, aren't we? Mm -hmm. What's sweet? What? Mm -hmm. Is this soap? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, uh, little uh, bars of soap in a pretty little display basket, sweet. Mm -hmm. Soap that you get washed with? Mm -hmm. Yes, of course it's soap that you get washed with. Mm -hmm. In the bath? Mm -hmm. Yes, Sweep, in the bath. <laughs> you don't like soap. Well, that's because he doesn't like baths, Matthew. Yeah, I know, I know about that, so just ignore him, ignore him. Now, where are we going to display this pretty soap? Where should we put it? Well, hmm? I think they should be at this end of the counter so the perfume can spread all over the shop. Well, that's a very good thought, actually, Sue. OK, let, let push it down there. Pass it down, please, Sweep. Give her a hand. That's a good idea. The perfume Thank will you. spread all over the shop. Excellent idea. And they look nice there as well. What do you think, Sooty? <laughs> what? You think they should be at this end? <laughs> Uh, wh why, why is that? So that people can see them as soon as they walk in the door? Well, actually, that is a very good point. C can you pass them back, Sue? Because then people will see them as soon as they walk in, you see, which would be even better, so pass them back up here. Right, I think this is the place for them. What do you reckon? Um, well, surely if we put them up this end, Matthew, yes. people would have further to walk to see them, and that way they might easily, well, see something else to buy as they're walking up here. Sue, that is shrewd. That is very mm. good. That Now, that is good thinking. Pass them back up there, please, sweep. OK, you see, because people will see something else on the way up there. OK, well, that's that's just terrific. What? what? You think they should be down here? Mm -hmm. uh, why? <gasps> of course! Mm -hmm. You see, people may be able to see them from outside the shop and that oh. would bring them in! Great thinking! Pass them back up. Mm -hmm. I hadn't even thought about that, you know, Sooty. I'm ever so glad you mentioned it. Right. OK. Mm -hmm. What? What? What, Sweet? What? Mm -hmm. You know where we should put them? Mm -hmm. uh, where should we put them, Sweet? <laughs> in the dustbin where nobody can see them? Mm -hmm. Wait, uh, a shopkeeper's lot is not a happy one. No, Scampy. Matthew's got this thing in his head that he wants to improve business in the shop. He won't let you serve because you just don't know enough about shopkeeping. Oh, don't worry. I'm quite happy to play pretend shops with you. Now, have you got some nice grapes, Mr. Shopkeeper? Oh, yes. I can see some there. Well, I'd like a nice bunch, please. Come on, Scampy. I want some grapes. What? You haven't got any grapes? Scampy, you're supposed to pretend. Those jelly babies can be the grapes. Come on, I'd like a nice bunch, please. Come on. I said a nice bunch of grapes. That's it. Now, here's my money. What? Where's the money? It's there, Scampy. I've already told you. It's pretend. Now, I'd like a cabbage. Go on, a cabbage. Yes, that's right, a cabbage. Thank you. Here's your money. And three potatoes, please. Three potatoes, that's right. One, two, and three. Thank you. Here's your money. Now, I'd like a can of baked beans. Hooray, you're getting the hang of it now. <gasps> oh, I do like that nice flower, Mr. Shopkeeper. I'd like to buy that as well. Which flower? That flower, the one just behind you. I'd like to buy it. You haven't got a flower? Of course you have. I can see it there at the back of your shop. What? That isn't a flower? Oh, of course it is, Scampy. If it isn't a flower, I'd like to know what it is. It's a pretend pork chop. Oh, a shopkeeper's lot is not a happy one. Hmm. No, I'm afraid that Scampy couldn't seem to get the hang of being a shopkeeper, Matthew. He was hopeless. Yeah, but the truth is you're all hopeless, aren't you? What? Hmm. I mean, it's only me that knows about running a shop around here. The rest of you, it's just like playing at shop. Well, that's not true, Matthew. We all try hard and we work hard too, don't we, boys? <coughs> yes. What do you know about shopkeeping that we don't? Well, at least to know what we sell in the shop, Sue. I mean, listen, we're meant to have a shop here that sells anything and everything. Am I right? Right. Yeah? Yes, OK. Well, so if somebody came into our shop and asked you what um, this is, <coughs> what would you say to them? Oh. Uh. Yes, that's exactly what you would say. 
Well, you're not supposed to say that. We sell this thing in our shop, Sue, so you must know what it is. Who knows what it is? Do you, do you know what it is? <laughs> oh, you know what it is. Good boy. Well done, sweep. What is it? <laughs> it is not a sausage making machine. <laughs> what do you think it is, Sussie? <laughs> is it a device for getting stones out of a horse's hooves? No, it is not a. Oh. Sue, so, what is it? Well, hmm? it's obviously one of a pair. Yes, that's right. You can see the maker's mark here at the bottom. Good, yes. It's a beautifully crafted piece made round about the turn of the century, I'd say. That's very good, Sue. What is it? Well, it's an early French writing cabinet. No! Oh, it is not an early French writing cabinet. Oh. It's actually a very early cine projector. Look, this is electric motor here, mm -hmm. and the little light went in here. Close that up. Oh. The light went through the film out of the lens of the front was projected onto the wall. Mm. Let's have a look at something else. Uh, what do you think, uh, what do you think this is? Hmm? What do you think that is? Mm. Is it a shoehorn for people with funny shaped feet? No, it is not a shoehorn. Oh, sweet, what is it? <laughs> is it a sausage making machine? <laughs> no, it is not a sausage making machine. <laughs> Sue, what do you think about this? What uh, is it? I don't suppose it's an early French writing cabinet. You're right, Sue! Oh. It isn't an early French writing cabinet. Oh. It's actually a very old ink blotter, and you used to it blot up all the wet ink like that. Let's have a look at just one more thing. Now, this is obviously a plate, mm -hmm. but the question is, how much is it worth? Well, mm. you're handling it very carefully. Of course, yes, yes, yes. So, so it must be very valuable. <laughs> I'll say four thousand pounds. Four thousand pounds, as much as that. What do you think, Sooty? Five thousand. Mm -hmm. Sweet. <laughs> Ten thousand pounds. Well, really. Well, that's how much you know, because the fact is that's one of those plates that they throw in Greek restaurants. It's meant to smash. It's worthless, worth pennies. Ah, but this, on the other hand, may well be a dip... What are you doing? No, 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 don't do... Oh, for goodness sake! What's the matter, Matthew? You smash one. If they're made to be broken and cost next to nothing, doesn't matter, does it? Sue, I was about to say that that's an early Georgian one-off. It was worth a fortune. Ooh. Sweep, you did that. You know, you know nothing about shops. You know nothing about antiques. And you know nothing about the value of things. You're useless. Oh, dear, get the glue, Sooty. The shopkeeper's lot is not a happy one. Ah, oh, here you are, Sweep. I've been looking for you. What are you doing? <laughs> looking at the adverts? <laughs> Let me see. Modern shop unit to let, one month's free rent. <gasps> but what does this mean? <laughs> You're going to open your own shop? <laughs> but why, Sweep? <laughs> because Matthew thinks you're stupid. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I think you're stupid? <laughs> well, no. Stupid isn't the word I'd use to describe you. <laughs> What is the word I'd use to describe you? Well, uh, dense, thick, pea brain, nincompoop, or possibly that good old standby, fathead. <coughs> I do think you're stupid. <coughs> no, of course I don't think you're stupid. I was only kidding. But I do think you're silly if you go and open your own shop. <coughs> Won't you change your mind? <coughs> no. <coughs> but sweep, this means that you and Matthew are going to be rivals. Oh dear, there's going to be trouble. <laughs> we can put the rest of them at sweep. Oh, there you are. Would you pass the rest of that stuff up, please, since it was you that knocked it on the floor in the first place? And before you say anything, they're not sausage making machines, they're baskets full of soap. Pass them up here. We can just balance those on the, on the top there. Sweep, would you pass the soap, please? We can make a nice display. Sweep, would you. Look, are you hearing what I'm saying? Would you pass the soap up here, please? <laughs> I beg your pardon, what did you say? You said no. Uh, excuse me, Sooty, I think we're having a few staff problems here. Uh, sweep, would you please pass the soap? And another thing, if you're going to work behind the counter, you can put your overall on. You don't want to put your overall on. Well, excuse me, but it's not a question of what you want. I'm telling you to put it on. Now, put it on. Uh, sweep, put it on. Sweep, if you move that overall once more, I shall have no alternative but to dismiss you. Right, that does it. Sweep, I am now going to give you the sack. I'm sorry about, what's this? Oh, no, it's the sack, I'm giving you the sack. Uh, sweep, I am going to give you the boot. I'm very sorry about this, but what is, oh, I'm giving you the boot. I don't know where they come from. Sweep, I'm handing you your cards because you, what's this? Happy family. 
handing you cards. Well, it's hardly happy families, is it? Now, Sweep, do you understand what's going on? And what do you have to say? Hmm? You don't give a fig? <laughs> don't give a fig. <laughs> you don't give two hoots? But, Sweep, why? Well, I don't understand. You're handing in your notice? Beware of the ice, handing in the notice. <laughs> Sweep, what is going on? I think you're silly. I think you can't run a shop. And you're going to prove me wrong? But, Sweep, how, how will you prove me wrong? You can't run a shop. I mean, where will you go to, for goodness sake? How, what's this? Modern shop unit to let one month's free rent? Just, just, just a minute, Sweep, you can't run a shop. You don't know what you're doing. Let's sweep, you're making a big mistake. Wait. He's gone to open his own shop. This means we're going to be rivals. Yes, he does, Sooty, but don't worry. I'm not bothered because he won't last two minutes. Exactly how long is it now since Sweep left? Two days, Sue. Yes, two days, Matthew. <laughs> that poor little dog. Well, at least it's nice to see that you and Sooty are upset about him leaving. Sue, that's not why we're crying, is it, Sooty? No, the reason we're crying is because since he left, there's been even fewer customers. <laughs> oh, God. Shh, shh, a customer. Come on, Sooty, quickly. Business calls. Cooey, only oh. me, Mo from Market. Oh, Mo, it's so nice to see you. It's always nice to see such a, such a valued customer. What? Yes, you're right. It's always nice to see any sort of customer these days. A customer? Well, yes. I wouldn't count on it. What? Because I have got a list here that I'm certainly going to buy from someone. Good. But not necessarily you. I've just come to do a price check, Chuck. Well, that seems fair enough. Uh, so what is it that you want? Right, well, I've got tea towel. Uh, tea, tea towel, quickly. Tea towel. Yes. We'll a pair of kitchen scissors. Uh, kitchen scissors. Have we got any kitchen... Oh, yes, wait. Kitchen right, small scissors. handheld sewing machine. Uh, uh, small... I don't, I, know, oh, there Feather there's. duster. Feather, feather duster. Quick, 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 quick. Can opener. Can, can opener. Right, I think we've got... Yeah, yeah, wait, washing got line. Wash, washing line. Certainly a, a pair of thermal socks. A, a pair of th th oh yes, th th and a Dezel Connor tape. Ah, if you got one. You know, you might well have caught us there. Oh, right, we, that's we do. It, no, then. we do have a Dezel Connor tape, and the the total amount for this lot thirty three pounds twenty five. Shall I get Sooty to wrap this up for you? Like a kiss, like you will thirty three pound twenty five. Yes, that's daylight rubbery. That is. You won't find it any cheaper, Mo. Oh, is that so? Well, yes. I've got news for you two. What? Because I've just come from supermarket sweeps, and this little lot at his shop comes to just twenty nine pounds. What? Yes, so you can put all that stuff away because I'm going to be shopping at Sweep's place from now on. I mean, you lot aren't even offering a new customer bonus, are you? A new customer bonus? Aye. What? What is a new customer bonus? I don't know, I'm just going to ask it. What's a new customer bonus? Well, for every customer that goes into Sweep's shop, they get a free gift just for having a look. You don't even have to buy now. You're joking, but what, what did he give to you? He gave me this. What? There. What is it? It's a sausage-making machine. What do you think it was? An early French writing desk? Anyway, I've got a dash now, so ta-ra! Uh, uh, Mo, Mo! Oh, what? This is a disaster. You're right, it is a disaster. Actually, come over here. All is not lost because we've got a delivery to make right now to a Miss Cummings of Accrington. Now, this is a cash-on-delivery, which means that you make the delivery, you collect the cash. Go on, off you go. I'll mind the shop. Miss Cummings, Accrington. Don't worry, because we'll... Sh excuse me a minute, just a minute. Hello, Sooty and Co... Oh, oh! Miss Cummings! It's Miss Cummings. You, we were just talking about you. You, you wonder what? Cancel it? What, the order? But why? S sweep shop? Well, how... How much? No, you're right, we can't... We can't compete with those prices. A, a what, a free gift? What did he give you? No, no, I'm sure it will be extremely useful. Bye. <laughs> it was a disaster. <laughs> Sometimes when terrible things happen to you during the day, you can get bad dreams at night. And that is exactly what's happening to me right now. <laughs> oh, oh, Matthew, we made a terrible mistake. <laughs> We should have gone to work for Mr. Sweep. Why don't we have the chance? You're right, Sue. But it's too late now. He's a millionaire. He's too big to care. Good morning, Mr. Sweep. 
Morning, sir. I'd just like to say congratulations on a job well done here, Mr. Sweet. It's a fine supermarket you've got and a very successful business. <laughs> I met him. I shook him by the hands. A real live millionaire. Sweet. Sweet. Please come home. We miss you. Please. Oh. Oh, Sweep! Sweep, please come home! We need you! Please! <laughs> What's happening, Matthew? It's no good, Sue. There's no reply. Oh. You know, ever since I had that terrible dream last night, I just want Sweep to come home. Mm. What? So do you? Yes, and so do I, Matthew. <sighs> well, what's going to be? He's probably too busy. He's probably too busy opening all other shops up to put us out of business. Oh, cheer up, Matthew. This may be a customer. Ah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. I expect you're another one that's come to gloat, are you? I'm not sure I follow. Well, I expect you come to tell us how many customer sweeps got and how few customers we've got. Is that right? No, it is not right, if you must know. I've actually come to give you some advice which will bring your customers back. Oh, he's got advice. Well, everybody's got advice. What do you know about running shops? Well, uh, I have run a little shop myself on and off over the few years, uh, so I do know something about shopkeeping. Oh, really? Yes, really. Really? 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 And one of the things I do know is that nobody likes to come into a shop like this and see a grumpy face like that. What, this? Yes. Oh, which brings me to my advice. Which is? Which is, you need to bring that little dog back in here working where he belongs. What, sweet? Well, how many dogs do you know that work in shops? Uh, have you seen Sweep? I have, love. Not five minutes ago. Yeah, I thought so. That bag there, I don't suppose it happens to contain a sausage-making machine, does it? Does it almost like? Contains a sausage-eating machine, more like. What? Right. Come on, you. Uh, hey. Oh, Sweep! Oh, Sweep! <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? What about your shop? Oh, there wasn't any shop. Oh. It was just kidding you to make you jealous. It's played one or two tricks on you lot. You've been in sleep, but where have you been staying? Oh, don't get excited. You've been staying with me. Because I'm Mo's brother. Now, can Sweep come home? But of course you can, Sweep. <coughs> Welcome home! Oh, it's grand, is that? Isn't it? <laughs> hey. Hey, we're having a bit of a do here, and it's all in aid of you, young fella, my lad, just to say, welcome home. <laughs> You've been away, and now I'd like to say, welcome home. Welcome home. I'm glad in the end, we've ended up friends. Welcome home. Welcome home. We're glad to see you back again. We're happy to see you right here. I'll never give you the sack again So wipe away those tears Welcome home Welcome, Welcome home. home Welcome home Welcome home Awake or asleep I've been thinking of sweep Welcome home Welcome home Each day and each night Things haven't seemed right Welcome home Welcome home Back here we Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home. Well, we hope you've enjoyed yourselves. We'll see you again soon. So it's bye bye, bye everybody. Well, bye bye. Help yourself, won't you? I mean, you know. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home. Hey, ho, it's Sooty and Ho. Everybody say hello. There's Sooty and Sweet and they're called Sue and little cousin Camp. They'll be fun galore with the terrible four. Just you wait and see. It's Sooty and Company. Sooty and Company.
Hello, it's me, down here, it's Matthew. Oh, I've been waiting for you a lot. Where have you been? The reason I'm hiding down here is because um, I've got something very unusual to show you. Something very unusual indeed. In fact, something that you have never seen before. And it is this. Ta-da! I'm wearing a tie! Now, I never normally wear ties. In fact, I can't remember the last time I did. As a matter of fact, Sooty Sweep Sue and little cousin Scampy, they've never seen me wearing a tie. I wonder what they're going to say when they see it. Morning, Matthew. I think we're going to find out. Good morning, Sue. Notice anything different about me today? Oh, Matthew, you are a dirty boy. I beg your pardon? What do you mean, dirty? You've what? got a great big stain right down the front of that nice clean shirt. Oh, stain? This is not a stain. This is a tie, Sue. <gasps> a tie? What? You wearing a tie? No, absolutely. Well, I thought I'd better make a bit of an effort in case the uh, big event comes off. Oh, goodness me. Well, if you're wearing a tie, I'd better go and sort myself out a smart dress. Bye. Oh, all right, bye. Perhaps I'd better explain about this uh, big event. You see, Sweep has invited his entire family to come and stay. Well, at least he's sent the letters out. Uh, the problem is that nobody's actually replied, so we're not sure whether they're going to arrive or not. But anyway, Sweep has got high hopes, and hence, the tie. So I... Oh, hello, Sooty. What? What's that around my neck? Well, it's, it's a tie, actually. Is it to keep my neck warm? No, it's for decoration. It's to make me look smart. And talking about looking smart, I think that you should go and brush your fur. I mean, after all, we don't know when Sweep's family are going to arrive, do we? That's if they arrive at all. So go and make yourself look smart. Go on. It's very exciting, isn't it? Mind you, if you think you're excited, wait until you see Sweep. He keeps rushing around saying, My family's coming! My family's coming! He's like a demented bee. Sweet, calm down! Sweet, please calm down. Sweet, sweet, calm down. You're like a demented bee. Sweet, calm down. Take it easy. 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 Whoa there, boy. Calm down. Slow down. Whoa. There. That's better, isn't it? Hmm. Oh. God, listen to that. My family's coming, my family's coming. Well, I hope they do come, that's all I can say. Well, oh, hello, Sooty. What am I doing? Well, I'm just polishing this old brass lamp so we can sell it in the shop. What? I've got a stain on my tie? Where? Oh, no. Look, look at that great big stain. Wouldn't you know it? That stain is going to show, you know. You can stop it from showing. Well, can you? Well, if you can, I would be most grateful. You know, sometimes he's a very, very thoughtful little bear. I, 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 what have you done that for? You won't be able to see the stain now. Well, of course you won't be able to see the stain because it's covered in red paint. Oh, for goodness sake, do something, please. Honestly, such a thoughtful little bear. I wish you'd come... What are those? What are you doing? What are you... No! Like I said... Such a thoughtful little bear. Matthew, hey, what? Matthew. What, Sue? We've got a little visitor. What? Mm. Really? Mm. Hey, they've arrived. They're... Hang on, Sweep, I'm coming. I'm coming. Mm. Sweep. Mm. Sweep, this is great news. Mm. Sue's just told me. Excellent. Mm. You've got a little visitor, haven't you? Mm. Great. I'm so glad somebody's arrived. Mm. Well, for goodness sake, where, where, where is he? Mm. Think he's behind your ear? Behind your ear? <laughs> or maybe he's on your back? <laughs> uh, sweet, sweet, <laughs> this, uh, this little visitor, uh, it is a member of your family, isn't it? <laughs> no. <laughs> well, who is it? <laughs> it's a flea? <laughs> a dog flea? <laughs> oh, for goodness <laughs> sake, you've got your family that might be arriving any minute now, and you're telling me you've got fleas? <laughs> Oh, you've only got the one. Oh, well, that's great news, isn't it? It's only got one flea. We'd better get the flea powder. Where is it? We'd better get it tricked. Oh, it's here. It's all right, it's here. Always be prepared. That's my motto. Flea powder. This should do the trick. Oh, here's the applicator. Let's try it. Stand, stand still. Stand still. Hold, hold your arm up. Hold your arm up. Let's just try a little uh, quick puff under there. Right. Uh, <coughs> have I got him? No. Uh, turn around. Turn around this way. This way. Hold, hold your arm up. Hold your arm up. Let's try uh, under that arm. Uh, uh, right. Have I got him? No. Right, uh, look at me, look at me. Chin right up, chin right up. Right, that's right. Have I got him? No? Turn around. Look over there, look over there, look. Have I got him, Sweep? No? Oh, for goodness sake, we better try the whole lot. Try that. Right. Now, now then. Have I got him now? 
I've got him! I've got him! Well, I'm not surprised with that lot. Should be dead as a dodo. Anyway, sweep, you can't stand around looking like that. Look, your family's going to arrive any second now and you're looking like a ghost. Go and get yourself washed in the shower. Go and get all that powder off. Honestly, the scrapes we get... Hello, Sissy, what, what, what are you doing? You're looking for something. What are you looking for? Your pet flea? Pet flea? What? Took you three years to train her. Um, <coughs> Sissy, would you mind leaving us for a minute. I've got something rather delicate to talk to Sooty about. Brace yourself, my friend. I've got some very bad news for you. Whilst I'm breaking the bad news to Sooty downstairs, Sweep has had his shower and is now choosing some cologne to impress his family. Now, what will it be? Traditional wet dog smell? Scent of the farmyard? Essence of dog breath? Sweep decides to go for a bit of each. Dear. Well, as you can see, we, we have managed to find Sooty's pet flea. And I've taken my tie off and I've cleaned my shirt up. But don't worry, Sooty, you, you'll get over it, I promise you. Well, oh, hello, Sweep. Oh, now, that looks much better. You're very smart looking now. I love the bright red collar. Look, why don't you take your bone up to your bedroom, leave it up there and come down and join us for a nice cup of tea, OK? <laughs> off you go. Poo. <laughs> Hello, sweet. Phew, what a pong. Poof. Sooty and Co, the shop which sells anything to anybody. That's always providing there's somebody in the shop to buy it. Do you know, business has been so lax recently. Sometimes I just pray for a customer. Oh, my prayers have been answered. A customer. Oh, it's you. I thought it was a customer. What's this? <laughs> a bone for your relative? <laughs> Look, will you do as I told you and take the bone to the bedroom and leave it there? Go on. <laughs> what do you mean, pardon? I said, take the bone to the bedroom and leave it there. Go on. <laughs> Poor old sweep. He's not very bright, is he? <laughs> You put the bone in the bedroom. That's fine, thank you. Uh, sweet, you wouldn't nip into the kitchen and get my sandwich, would you? OK. Whew. Of course, what you've probably worked out is that this isn't Sweep at all. It's his brother, Swoop. He's the one with the yellow collar. But I haven't worked that out, and neither has Sue. Hello there. Funny dog. All right, stand by your beds. A customer. Yes, sir, and what can it... Oh, it's you again. I thought it was a customer. Look, would you please stop using that door? But where's my sandwich? What sandwich? The, the, uh, the sandwich I just asked you to get from the kitchen. Hang on, hang on, hang... What's this? A bone for your relative? I'm getting sick of this. Look, watch my lips. Take the bone to the bedroom and leave it there. Get it? Good. Go and do it. God. Thanks for getting that for me, sweet. Uh, listen, you wouldn't do me a favour. Just nip back in the kitchen and get the mustard, would you? Thanks. Paperwork. I hate paperwork. Gosh, that was quick. <laughs> Where's the mustard? <laughs> what mustard? <laughs> what, what is the matter with you? <laughs> Look, go into the kitchen and get the mustard. <laughs> <clears throat> the one with the blue collar on is actually Sweep's other brother, <laughs> Swipe. <laughs> I hope you're not getting confused. <laughs> Sue and I certainly are. Hello there. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> eh? What's going on? I hate paper. <laughs> 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 
Don't creep up on people like that, for goodness sake. Where's the mustard? <laughs> what mustard? Well, the mustard you were fetching from the kitchen. Just a minute, what? What's this? <laughs> a bone for your relative? <laughs> Listen carefully, because I'm only going to say this once more. Take this horrible bone and leave it in the bedroom. Now, go on. <laughs> Dear me. Trouble I have. To... <laughs> Sweep, I'm sorry that I shouted at you, OK? I'm, I'm very sorry, but I think, I've, I think I've been working too hard. Just take the mustard away, please. Just take <laughs> it away. You know, the truth is, I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. I think I need a holiday. That's what it is. And <laughs> you can't find the mustard. <laughs> what, what, what do you mean you can't find the mustard? I mean, you, you just took it. You were, you were holding it. <laughs> you weren't. You were. <laughs> You've never seen the mustard in your life. <laughs> <laughs> Remember Swoop with the yellow collar and Swipe with the blue one? Well, this is Sweep's third brother, Swap with a green collar. Sweep's got a lot of brothers. Hello there. Oh. Good boy. Oh. Help, help, Mummy. Well, yes, I, I have been having quite a few headaches recently, but I, I just put that down to too much hard work. <laughs> you put the mustard away. You see, that there it is again. I mean, I could have sworn that you told me that you'd never seen the mustard. Oh. You, you put the bone in the bedroom? Yes, I know you put the bone in the bedroom. You told me that. You must have told me a dozen times. Anyway, it's, it's done now, OK? It's done now, and we do not have to mention the bone again, OK? Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> you put the bone in the bedroom? I can't take any more of this! It's... <laughs> There are four sweets! Sweet, there's four of you! <laughs> Hang on, this is your family? What do you mean, these are your brothers? Oh, well, of course, that explains it! I thought you were all one! I mean, that's where the confusion's been! You're all so similar! <laughs> oh, of course, same litter! But they're quads, of course, aren't they? Well, look, now that they're here, why don't you take your brothers upstairs and get Sooty to tell them where everything is, OK? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, off you go. Off you go. <laughs> well, here's Sooty showing Sweet Brothers the bathroom. He's trying to tell them that this is where they can get freshened up after their journey. But they don't seem to be listening. And here's poor old Sooty trying to show them the bedroom. But his voice isn't loud enough. And this is the loft, says Sooty at the top of his voice. But the sweet family's voices are louder. Yeah, that's great, Kevin. So shall we say uh, half an hour? Half an hour? Yeah, 27 seats. Yes, I'll arrange them in the backyard. Listen, it's ever so... Oh, hello, Sooty. Isn't this exciting? Goodness me, have you shown Sweep and his brothers all around upstairs? You've lost your voice? What do you mean? Through shouting so loud? Well, actually, that doesn't surprise me. Oh, but whilst you're upstairs, I did have a surprise. Somebody else has arrived. What? Is it more of Sweep's brothers? No, it's even more exciting than that. Come on up, Sweep's mum and dad! <coughs> oh, hello! 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 Goodness me, they are so similar, aren't they? So many similarities! <coughs> including the scintillating conversation, of course. <coughs> yeah, hello. 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 Well, Sweet's got his entire family around him now. This calls for a celebration. Yeah, I agree, which is why I was just on the telephone. I've got the home brass band to come and play for the whole Sweet family, and it's going to feature in the musical number Sweep on the Shop Bell. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
It is, Sue. Mm. And that's despite the fact that the entire Sweet family are staying the night. Mm. Hey, do you want to know how we've achieved this little miracle of silence? Do you? Come and have a look. Come on. I wasn't sure where to put them all. I mean, they've all got so incredibly noisy. They couldn't possibly have stayed in the house. It would have kept us awake all night. Anyway, Sooty came up with a brilliant suggestion. It certainly seems to have worked. Um, they're in here. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good job this camper van's soundproofed, isn't it? But the thing is, I wonder what it's like inside.
have a nice day. Relax, you'll be absolutely fine with us. So, bye-bye. Uh, Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Oh, oh, hello, and welcome to Sooty & Co. Now, I think you know almost everybody here. This, of course, is Sooty. <laughs> this is Sweep. <laughs> and this is dear little Sue. Hello there, everybody. Of course, you all know little cousin Scampy as well, but I'm afraid he's not here right at this moment. But there is somebody here today that I think some of you will not recognise. Come over here, come over here. Now, this is Label. And Label is Mrs. Stevens' little doggy. And we've said that we're going to look after her for, for the day whilst Mrs. Stevens goes out and does some shopping. You get her treats. Good idea, go down there. We've got some treats here. Mrs. Stevens says that Label loves these treats. Let's see if she does. Do you want one of these? Come on, mate. So gentle. She does like them. <laughs> what, sweet? Is she valuable? <laughs> yes, extremely valuable, which is why we've got to be so careful with her whilst we're looking after her. I mean, Mrs. Stevens would go absolutely potty if anything happened to her lovely little doggy. Oh, do you think she'd like a drink, Matthew? Oh, well, yes, that's a very good <laughs> idea, actually, Sue. As a matter of fact, uh, I think there's a dog bowl for sale around here somewhere. Fill it full of water. See if you can find it. Go on, the dog bowl. <laughs> find the dog bowl. It's one of those, uh, one of those sort of brown pot things. It's, it's definitely around here somewhere. I saw it the other day. Is it over there, Sooty? No? Uh, Sue? No. No sign of it here, Matthew. <coughs> what, sweet? <coughs> she can borrow your bowl? <coughs> well, that's very kind of you. That's a very good idea. OK, you go and get your bowl, OK? <coughs> and then we can fill the bowl full of water and we can give the little doggy woggy a little drinky winky because that's what she wants because she's a good... good... <coughs> ah, what is it? She's gone! Stay where you are. Stay. Mabel! Woo! Stay there. Here go. Here go. Here. Hey. Oh, she's gone. I can't, I can't believe what we've done. I just can't believe it. We've lost the... We've lost Mrs. Stevens' prize dog. What am I going to say to her? I cannot believe it. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Label? It's you. You. You silly girl. Oh, dear, Matthew. That was a terrible experience. I know that, Sue. My heart's still pounding. No, not for you. I meant for the poor dog. Oh, I see. Look, if I were you, I would tie her up so she doesn't run away. Tie her up? Mm. Good idea. Sooty, throw a ball of string. Thanks very much. I am going to get you tied up, young lady, and then you won't run away again. We'll just pop this round here. There we go. Stay. Stay. Let's get this end round here. <coughs> what, Sweep? <coughs> You've got her a drink? Yeah, that's, that's good, Sweep. Good. <coughs> and you got some food for her, too? <coughs> Great. Can you put the food in the bowl for her? Uh, <coughs> Sooty, can you lend him a hand, please? Stay, stay. <laughs> You're not doing very well, are you? Hey, hang on a minute. Let, 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 let me uh, let me give you a hand. Sooty, listen. Don't don't do that. Anyway, it's full now. Let, let's get some, some of these lovely dog biscuits on here. Look, let's just, we'll arrange them in a, in a pretty pattern for a pretty little doggy. That's a good idea. Huh? Oh, look who it is. It's little cousin Scampy. Hello, Scampy. What, what do you want? Uh, he wants to know if there's any string anywhere. String? Uh, well, I don't know. We're extremely busy at the moment. Go and see if you can find some string somewhere. There's bound to be some around somewhere. Let's... Just carry on doing this. We're very busy at the moment, oh, aren't we, Sooty? You can put that one in. Go on, pop it in, pop it in. That's it. Oh, yeah, it's fallen out. In fact, uh, let's put several... Push that one there, push that one there. Several in the middle, a little row across the middle. Just like a crown, isn't it? <laughs> Here we are. Oh, it's looking good, it's looking good. There. Finished. A meal fit for a princess. Yes. Mmm, yummy, 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 yummy. Yes, a meal fit for a princess. Fit for a very, very expensive princess. Ah! Oh, oh, look, look. Scampy. 
Mabel! Mabel! She's gone! Uh, look, Sweep, uh, you and Sooty, get in the camper and chase her quickly, quickly! Uh, Sue, stay here with Scampy. Uh, label! Label! This way! Label! 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 This is great, isn't it? I mean, we really have lost her this time, haven't we? And where are Sooty and Sweep? Where are they? Oh, here they are. Sweep! Any sign of her? No? Well, look, for goodness sake, let, let's get looking! Come on! Label! Label! This is ridiculous. We've been looking for over 10 minutes now. We haven't seen hide and hair of a... I'm absolutely worn out. You feel fine? Yeah, well, that's because you're in the camper van, isn't it? <sighs> We've got to get her back before Mrs. Stevens gets back or she'll kill me. The thing is, I can't think where to start looking. I mean, she could be absolutely anywhere. Come on, we'd better get going. Come on. Here, girl. Here, label. This is just hopeless. Oh, look! Look! Oh! Stay there. Stay. Stay, girl. Stay. Stay. Ha! Ha! Got you. Got you. And now I'm going to take you back to the shop, which must be miles away, judging by the distance we've run. Cooey! Matthew! What? Ha! Sue! Sit. Stay. 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 Sue! What are you doing here? Well, we haven't moved, Matthew. It's you that's run in a big circle chasing what? Label. Oh! Oh! Is it... It's a silly shop. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's what? great. That means that everything's all right, then. <laughs> Everything isn't all right. What? Why not? What's the, what's the matter? <laughs> Label's run off again. <laughs> ah! Oh! 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 Label! Label, let me, let me, let me, let me. I definitely saw her come in here. Where are we? We're in Heaton Park Suite. We're miles away from home. Oh, hello, Sooty. Do you know, I could murder an ice cream. Sweep, have a look through the binoculars. See if that ice cream man sells my favourite lollies, would you? She's there. Where is she? At the ice cream van. You're right. Come on, let's go. Come on. She's gone again! Where did the doggy go? That way! Yeah. That way! Right! <laughs> Mabel, here you go! Here you go! Mabel, come on! Here you go! Mabel, come here! Here you go! Here you go! Come here! Whoa, 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 stop, stop. This is crazy! I mean, look! Every time we move, she runs off. We stop, she stops, we move, she moves. We need to, we need to round her up, rather like they round up sheepdogs. We need something to drive her towards us. You've got it. What have you got? What's, uh, what's the walkie-talkie for, sweet? You're going to call up reinforcements? What on earth do you mean? Yes, sweet. Message understood. I've told Stampy. In fact, here he comes. Off you go then and round her up! Oh, look who it is, it's Scampy! This way, Scampy, this way! Oh, great! Good boy! Now go and round her up! Go on! Yes! Swoop down on her, go on! No, she's gone off to the right, she's gone to the right! To the right. Well, the idea was that Scampy should use the helicopter rather like a shepherd uses a sheepdog and drive Label towards us. Well, good, good on you, Scampy. But Label wasn't going to move until Label was good and ready. Scampy, it's, it's no good. No good. She's running to the bushes. You go home! Sweet, come on, we can catch in the bushes. Come on, come on. Nice boat. <laughs> well, as you can see, we didn't manage to catch her. 
As a matter of fact, the trail has now gone cold, which is more than can be said for us lot. <coughs> what sweep? <coughs> She's on the boat? <coughs> which... which boat? <coughs> look! No, 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 no! She's on the boat! She's on the boat! <coughs> hey, excuse me, son, this is an emergency here. Can I borrow this boat? Yes, OK. Thanks very much. Sooty, get in the boat! <coughs> Wait, is that her, Sooty? Because if it is, we could... Wrong dog! So, we just bundled her into the uh, camp of Ansu and drove on home. Well, you certainly have had a time of it, Matthew. <laughs> Tell me about it, Sue. Anyway, it's all right now because she's going to stay in the camper van until Mrs. Stevens gets back. And the door is firmly locked, isn't it, Sweep? Mm? I said the door is firmly locked. You did, uh, you did lock the door, didn't you? <laughs> you thought I did? Mm. What? Oh, no. Oh, no. I can have it. <laughs> so it seems that Label has returned to the park, which is very nice for her, but not too good for us, since we're supposed to be in charge of her. Sooty would like to take the helicopter and go and search for her, but it's out of fuel. However, you know Sooty is using something else, a microlight. spotted her. There she is. Prepare for landing. Oh, nicely done, Sooty. Sooty has got a trick up his sleeve. Well, actually, it's in his paw, but it's a champion chunk, one of those dog treats that Label really seems to like. He's going to try and approach her by using that. So far, so good. Oh, well done, Sooty. Now, put the lead on her. You haven't forgotten the lead, have you? Well, where is it then? Back at the microlight? Well, get back there and get it. That's it. Well done, Sooty. Now go get her. Oh, no. She's gone. Sooty! Oh, there you are. Have you caught her yet? No? Well, it doesn't surprise me because she's too clever for you, isn't she? But she's not too clever for me because I am cleverer than your average dog, you see. I have a plan. It's quite simple, Sooty. You see, dogs can't resist bones. So I borrowed Sweep's favourite juiciest bone and put it underneath the box. Now, all we have to do is to wait for Label to come along and feed on the bone. And as soon as we hear her, I pull the rope, the rope pulls the stick, the stick falls, the box drops, and bingo! We've caught her. Shh! Shh! Listen. That's her feeding. Bingo! Ha-ha! <laughs> Got you! Stay there, Sooty. Stay there, old girl. I'm coming. I'm coming. Well, you have led us a real merry dance, haven't you? But now, I... You? Never mind, hello. What are you doing inside the box? Eating your bone? No! Oh. It'll have to be plan B. 
It's quite simple. We dig a great big hole in the ground with this spade and then we cover the hole with sticks and twigs and branches and bits of soil and then we place this lovely piece of meat with the help of a long stick in the middle of the trap. And then we wait for Label to come along and snap, crackle, and she pops down the hole and we've caught her. Let's dig the hole. I'll put the meat on the ground. There we are. And don't touch it. That's a job well done. I must say, thank you very much indeed for your help. <laughs> That's okay. Now let me get the meat. <laughs> <gasps> the meat's gone. <laughs> Sweep. <laughs> if you've eaten, if you've <laughs> eaten, <laughs> look. <laughs> <laughs> you pesky hound. <laughs> Just wait until I catch you. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. Listen to me, I could have broken my neck falling down that hole. Yes, but the fact is you didn't, did you, Matthew? Well, no, but I don't need to do because Mrs. Stevens will do that for me when she discovers I've lost her prize, doggy. Look, just give me the shop keys and I'll go and have a shower and then I'll have to tell the police. Ah, oh, well, there's a bit of a problem with the keys, Matthew. What? I'm afraid we haven't got them. What? No, we can't find them anywhere, can we, Scampy? They're well and truly lost, and they're our only set, I'm afraid, Matthew. What? Do you mean to tell me that not only have I lost Mrs. Stevens' prize, doggy, mm. and not only have I nearly broken every bone in my body, not only have I ruined my entire set of clothes, oh but in addition, I can't get into the shop to have a shower? Oh, Is that it? That's about the size of it, Matthew. Right. Well, in that case, I am so angry that I could... <laughs> I could cry! <laughs> wow! Oh, lab label! <laughs> is this really Label? Yes, it is, Matthew. Oh, Label, I think I love you. I do. I love you. What's this? The shop keys! <gasps> Scampy, open the shop up and put the shower on. There's a good boy. Oh, label, everything's all right. There's just one thing to say, and that's this. Bye bye, everybody. Bye bye. Who's a good girl?